Hi. It's Chad again, from TyRomances.com. Wine lovers may picture their glass of red or white originating from the mountainous enclaves of Napa, the Gothic provinces of France, or the rolling vineyards of Australia. But what about Thailand? In recent years, the kingdom best known for its beautiful beaches and Buddhist temples, has cultivated a regional image as a wine destination, and not out of ease. The unpredictable weather, and volatile soil, don't make for an obvious choice for the industry. Nestled within the hills of Hua Hin, up to the rolling valleys that skirt Bangkok, are Thailand's best vineyards, where ripe grapes are hand-cultivated, as workers fan the baskets to keep the heat at bay. These local winemakers have found success over the last few decades, by studying the viticulture practices consistent across famed areas, like Spain and New Zealand, then modifying those techniques to manage Thailand's tough climate. The resulting wines have gained international recognition, and a host of awards, but the local connoisseurs, including the billionaire behind the Red Bull Empire Shalom Uvidya, are continuing to invest huge amounts of bot, into research to further cultivate quality. Thai winemaking initially began nearly half a century ago, when the king himself started experimenting with vineyard viability. While wine has never been very popular among Thais, this has largely been because of general unavailability, and huge foreign import taxes, and these local wine entrepreneurs aim to help spurn a new culture of domestic wine appreciation, through innovative strategies. Today, there are six members of the Thai Wine Association, which itself controls and standardizes the quality of Thai wines. All have launched to enormous brand success, both regionally and internationally. Siam Winery exports to nearly two dozen countries across Asia, Europe, and the Americas. Over the years, the six members of the association have together earned more than 100 awards, including gold medals at international wine competitions. Here's our pick of the top six wineries you must visit in Thailand. Located in sprawling Hua Hin Province, near Kaburi National Park, is one of the country's most innovative and expertly run wineries, whose efforts were applauded by the international community in 2017, as the first Thai wine to win brand of the year, at the World Branding Awards. Originally called Hua Hin Hills, the vineyard relaunched its brand last year in time for its annual harvest festival, held each March. During the festival, the vineyard offers daily grape picking activities, as well as a from vines to glass tour each Friday, where guests can tour the vineyard by jeep, including the unique 10,000 hectares of floating vineyards, in the Jiao Priya River Delta. Guests will learn about the process complete with grape stomping, and at the end of the day, with a curated wine tasting. Other tours are available year-round include vineyard experiences, for all interest levels, and courses in wine tasting from the casual drinker to seasoned experts. Using the highest quality imported machinery from Italy, Silver Lake's Pattaya-based vineyard is easily accessible from Bangkok, Buoyed by the nascent renaissance Pattaya is experiencing, itself attracting an influx of high-quality restaurants and entertainment. The plantation is set alongside a stunning lake, sporting scenic backdrops against central Thailand's rolling hillside, and the nearby Buddha Mount. Tours of the vineyard grounds and winery are available, and a number of events and festivals are hosted throughout the year. Just adjacent to Khao Yao National Park, is the Grand Monte Estate, poised 350 meters above sea level, across a 40-acre valley. The vineyard's concept channels sustainable agriculture, using tailor-made techniques, to suit the soil and climate, of its specific region of Thailand. Visitors can enjoy guided tours and tastings, and the on-site shop includes not only wines for sale, but other products made from their harvests, including homemade jams and pies. This family-run vineyard, along a stunning cliff edge, incorporates long-standing French techniques into its winemaking processes, focusing on organic and eco-friendly practices, to ensure the best quality in its products. Harvest season runs around mid-February, during which time the property hosts an annual festival, and nearly year-round, hosts guests in a farm stay program that promotes nature and health-based activities. One of the largest and longest-running vineyards in Thailand, is PB Valley Winery, located in the Khao Yai region, known regionally for promoting its concept of new latitude wines. Guests have the opportunity to join the award-winning vineyard tour, which includes tasting, and a full immersion into the processes developed by its German and New Zealand trained winemakers, at its education center. PB Valley Winery also tends to a variety of other orchards, including seasonal flowers, dragon fruit, passion fruit, mango, and Japanese melon. Situated on the Fu Rua Highland, Chateau de Loewy is the first winery to distribute Thai wine internationally in 1995, to Europe and Japan. It boasts a climate similar to southern France, making it ideal to tackle the major challenge many Thai wineries face, developing a good red. 
While the grapes harvested for white wines have typically proven amenable to many wineries, reds that match the quality of other global wine regions have been ever elusive. And do please let me know your thoughts in the comments. A winery tour is the perfect place, for some developing romance. If you're a single guy looking for some Thai companionship during your wine tour, you must check out ThaiRomances.com. There are links in the description.